about cloud and mobility are changing the way we work. Resources are moving to the cloud and employees are becoming digital nomads. So the question is why we are protecting the premise when employees are outside the office and resources are moving to the cloud. The biggest trend today in network security is basically unify network and security to be consumed through the cloud edge instead of the on-premise. Organizations uh, usually are utilizing tools like VPNs in order to allow their employees to work remotely and connecting their cloud environments directly with on-premise firewall, basically creating one big unified network that is based and centered in the headquarters. Organizations, in order to adapt to the cloud-centric and, and mobile-first world, will need to shift from site-centric security to user-centric security. And this is something that will basically change the way we consume security and replace VPNs for the first, right? But also firewalls completely that are premise-based with a cloud-based solution and is easy to use and easy to consume regardless where the employees are. SASE stands for Secure Access Service Edge and is a term that was coined by Gartner earlier last year. Basically speaking, SASE stands for a secure network as a service, unifying security and networking through the cloud edge. So basically creating a multi-tenant and multi-regional platform to consume security regardless of other employees or your data centers, cloud services, or on-premise offices are located. SASE allows companies to unify different security services to be delivered and managed from a single management console. Regardless where the employees are located, regardless where the resources are located, and regardless where the offices are located. This basically allows you to have a consolidated and unified policy management that is based on user identities and device identities rather than the site. So the question is not what is the security policy for my site or my office in New York, but is what is the security policy of Nate. And this basically creates a major shift in the way we use to consume network security and allows you to basically replace seven to 10 different security vendors into a single platform that provides you a unified and holistic network and security as a service. SASE, in its core, basically unifies network and security to be delivered from the cloud as a service. First of all, it's very easy to use. So you have one management platform to manage and basically enforce your entire organization's security policies easily. And, and this is a major step, moving away from site-centric security to user-centric security. So the question is what needs security policy is a greater advancement in the way security is managed today. The second benefit is simplicity so of the network. So there is no need for complex and expensive MPLS lines, for example, or network infrastructure. We rip off the entire network infrastructure as we know it today, make it much more simple, much more maintainable, and easier to consume regardless where your offices are located, your data centers or your cloud environments. SASE is already coming into existence. The core of it, a multi-tenant and multi-regional network in the cloud, one management console, security services, and an agent that is installed on the managed devices. There's also a gentler solution, but what we're gonna see in the next year mainly and, and the years coming after is basically unification of different security services that usually are integrated to the firewall, integrated to the traditional network security appliances, into the cloud as a service and be unified in matter of the management, 
So you have only one management platform that allows you to unify all your security services from network, endpoint, DLP, SaaS security, DNS security, intrusion prevention system and more, as well as SD1 as a service for interconnectivity through a single platform. We will see it develops and it's gonna be gradual. It's definitely the future. It's definitely we'll see additional cyber security companies that are building their services, not as a standalone solution, but rather than as a part of a SASE platform. We will see many more security vendors are moving away from traditional network security appliances into building their own SASE solution. And we will see greater partnerships from different vendors, including identity vendors, security vendors, network vendors, into unifying cybersecurity as a service. We saw that happening with IT, for example, uh, Google Suite and Office 365. And we're gonna see that in cybersecurity very soon, if not already. focusing now on three main use cases. The first use case is zero trust access, VPN replacement, basically our employees accessing their internal resources. We call it external to internal. And it's basically a solution that is both agent-based and agentless that allows you to enable easy access and zero trust access to applications regardless if they're inside the office or outside with an agent and without. Um, based on the organization requirements and the device posture. The second use case is network security, how to enable user to internet as well as branch to internet security delivered and managed from our cloud edge. So we run today about 30 different props going to 50 in the next uh, few months, allowing it to have a reduced latency and unified security policies regardless whether the employee is inside the office or outside the office, both for web and network as well, and all ports, all protocols. And the third use case is interconnectivity. How to basically easily integrate and interconnect your offices and branches without buying expensive MPLS lines or expensive hardware to your office, right? You can get relatively low cost internet lines even two, in order to have uh, full redundant, right? Connect it to the cloud and not only consume branch to internet as well as user to internet security, but also interconnectivity between your branches in order to build a one unified network that uh, is managed from a single management platform. So Perimeter 81, we are a leading SASE provider. We came with a lot of maturity in how to run scalable, multi-tenant and multi-regional network in the cloud, as well as building a solution that is easy to consume as a service, just like any other modern SaaS application. While establishing a partnership with SonicWall, the leading security vendor, we basically bring the best of breed from the security perspective, as well as the networking maturity and the SaaS maturity Perimeter 81 has into delivering the most innovative and leading SaaS platform in the world. We are living in exciting times for network security, both cloud, mobility, 5G that is coming to edge, as well as fast internet that is available everywhere, creating a massive opportunity both for security vendors, as well as companies to consume enterprise-grade security through the cloud. We are at Perimeter 81 here to win the space race and to build the most comprehensive and easy to use platform to make it accessible to every company from any size.